Hello and welcome to my channel, Breview. My name is Brianna. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for one of these beautiful signs. Either Cancer or Gemini is the last two readings of the month for me for love readings. So, one of you guys are about to get it. Let me see. Oh, excuse me. I needed some. I needed some tea. Hmm. That's where I got dry. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to shuffle these. God, please help me to pick one sign. Oh, beautiful. Guess who popped out? Cancer. You guys fell on out. This reading is for the sign of Cancer. All right. Now, before I started doing these last three readings, I got three messages, okay? Now, for Cancers, I got a message for you guys. Balanced emotions. So maybe balancing out your emotions a little bit more in your relationships, okay? And then the last message I got for you guys was live your best love life. Woo! So enjoy love at this time as well. Have fun with it. Okay. You know, living your best life, you're having fun, you enjoying yourself. That's what you need to do at this time. Alright. I'm going to start with my favorite deck, Earth Magic. All right, because I'm just a magical ass person. <laughs> like a little unicorn or whatever. Or a mermaid, because, you know, cancer, you're also a water sign. Like, what's up? Because I'm a Pisces. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to shuffle this twice, because I already pre-shuffled twice in between my reading. And I just did Pisces. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with Pisces. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. Maybe that's for some of you guys. What happened? All right, let's get started. God, please help me to give four beautiful messages for the sign of cancer for their love reading. Four messages for the sign of cancer. Four messages. Ooh, the first one I got for you guys. Celebration. Dance and celebrate. Okay, boo. Dance and celebrate. Okay. Three other messages, please. Well, I got two for you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything's trying to fall out now. Okay. Dreamtime creation. A lot of a lot of signs have been getting that. So it's time to create something new. Winter solstice reflection. Okay, Pisces also got that card. So maybe some of you guys really are dealing with Pisces. Um, a few cards wanted to fall out. I'm gonna just read them to you. The iceberg submerged. Maybe there's something submerged that you need to reflect on. The breached whale. It's coming out. Whatever it is that you need to reflect on is coming out. And you know why? Because we're in this Mercury retrograde and the Scorpio energy. Oh, Jesus. It's bringing up so much stuff. Also, a fellow water sign. Ancestors and generations. Hmm. Creating a legacy, I heard. Creating a legacy for generations. Dragonfly emergence. Rebirth. Okay. That's what I just heard. Okay. And the last one that popped out was... Music and harmony. So again, balanced emotions, harmony, balance is what I just got there. Okay, let's see. For this last card for cancer, please. Really? Why? Why? Why do you want to keep doing this? Okay. I guess there's some other cards I need to read to you guys. Lotus flower unfoldment. Childhood innocence. Okay. Waterfall effortless forest breath okay so those things that you definitely need to reflect on i don't know i'm getting like clarification for this already um there's definitely things that you need to reflect on but it's going to be effortless because it's just it's just going to pop up it's going to unfold right in front of your eyes okay and you know some of you are going to see it but some of you aren't because right under that was the fog wheeled okay so some of y'all are not seeing it maybe because it is from childhood past or whatever but just do some reflecting and you will figure out what it is that you need to at least let go of and continue to move forward, okay? But at the end of everything, you're going to be celebrating, okay? Um, please give me one beautiful card for the sign of cancer, for their love reading. Okay. Meadow vulnerability. Be vulnerable with your feelings. Right away, that's what I got for that one. Be vulnerable with your feelings in love with your relationships to God. Live your best love life. You know, you gotta be vulnerable with your feelings. Stop. Stop hiding 
and stop holding them in is what I just heard of them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some clarification cards from my other deck that I also love. And I'm going to show you that one in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and like shuffle this twice. Two more times. Okay. Just to get it nice and ready for you guys. Okay. And just as I split the deck, I've seen the sun and care and connections. But like I needed to say that on that last one. For some reason sometimes it's like that i was told to look and just tell you guys so, so i did all right this is the cards i'm going to be choosing from the energy oracle cards love 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 those cards all right god please help me to get clarification for the dance celebration rest and rejuvenation okay Again, reflect, rest, and rejuvenate. Do whatever you need to do to get yourself rebalanced. Okay? And you will be moving forward. Um, anything else for this dance celebration card? Victory. So you'll be victorious in what it is that you're working on, starting, and for some finishing. That's what I just got. Okay. Okay. Rest and rejuvenation and a victory so you're going to be celebration under that oh celebrating time under that was appreciation so some of you guys are being appreciated at this time maybe that's also what you're celebrating then i also see the angel of love so maybe for some of you guys because this is a love reading i'm gonna put these up um there is new love or love coming into your life or there is love in your life at this time and maybe that's also something that you're celebrating okay maybe you have a victory in love maybe you got a chance with someone for some of you <laughs> got a chance at love that you didn't expect to get i don't know why i just got that but whatever all right um any messages for the dream time creation and thank you god so much for those beautiful messages walking away so maybe walking away from some dreams that you did have that are, are here no longer serving you or no longer going to be what's best for you under that i see the card hostilities so again um some of these cards this one and this one did come out for pisces as well maybe some people are being hostile and maybe that's why you're walking away from those people or past relationships because they were negative and toxic you don't need that energy around you i'm just saying I'm just saying, okay, um, any other clarifications for this dream time and creation for the sign of cancer? Cornucopia, so you're walking away from the past, negativity, whatever, and you're walking towards cornucopia. It's almost like utopia, I like to think. Maybe you're creating a better future for yourself at this time. Whoa. Maybe that's what you're walking away from the past, of how things once were, and you're walking towards creating... A brand new future for yourself and also for the one that you love. Okay. Let me see. Any other clarifications for the dream time creation? No. I heard the word no. So, no, there is none. Okay. So, it's just these two for you guys. Okay. It's not bad. Alright. Thank you, God, for these beautiful messages. Can you please help me to get some information? For the sign of cancer when it comes to the winter solstice. What is it that they need to reflect on? Oh, okay. Two things came out for you guys. You need to reflect on your attachments. So maybe that's what you need to walk away from. Whatever it is that you're attached to that is negative, toxic, negative stuff. You need to walk away from that. Also see man holding a heart here. Number 45. So maybe some of you... You need to walk away from whatever you're attached to in the past. Reflect on that. See what it is that you're attached to and why. But then also start thinking about some of you. This could be you holding your heart and finally being ready to be vulnerable and give your love to someone else. Or maybe this is someone coming towards you. For some of you, if you're a female watching, then this is a man holding a heart. Or for some... Um, if you're a male watching, then, you know, that could be a woman holding a heart, whatever. The gender really is not too specific, you know, don't worry too much. 
um, you know, if that doesn't <laughs> resonate with you. And maybe you could be the man holding your heart out to someone, and maybe a woman holding your heart out to someone you never really know. Okay? Let's see. And maybe you're also reflecting on love or who you want to give your love to at this time. Any other information of what they need to reflect on? Whoa, everything is just popping out. Can't see you guys are getting busy. Okay. <laughs> Um, any other cards for what Cancer needs to reflect on? Okay, I'm just going to read some of these to you guys. Okay. The door to spirit. So maybe opening yourself up to spiritual practices, spirituality, even some of you, religion, I'm hearing. I'm seeing indecision. So maybe there is something that you need to make a decision about, but you're just undecided at this time, which is okay, don't worry. So maybe that's something you need to reflect on. You need to reflect on your spirituality or your religious preference. You're indecisive about something. And this could definitely be about love, whatever it is that you're indecisive about. And I also see goddess of the moon. Um, I heard moon magic. Okay. Maybe it's a good time for you to reflect at night. That's just for some of you. I like to reflect at night. I don't know. That's when my brain is like on 10,000 something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for those beautiful messages. For the last one, metal vulnerability. What is it that the cancer signs, the collective, need to be vulnerable about? What is it that needs to be vulnerable about? Wow, and it's so funny. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Um, as I was shuffling, I seen this card and it stuck out to me and it just popped up. Anxiety. So maybe some of you guys are anxious or have anxiety. You need to be vulnerable about that with your partner, I'm hearing. Then I see caring connections. You need to be vulnerable about your love. Offering love to someone or creating a relationship with someone. Under that was the yin and yang. So creating balance in your life as well. Maybe you need to be vulnerable about, you know, what it is. That's making you anxious or have that anxiety in your relationship. Um, speak about that is what I heard. Speak. So maybe talking about it with your partner is going to be very helpful. I mean, I always feel like it is. So maybe you need to reflect and then you need to think about what it is that you need to say to your partner. Maybe that's where you're in this undecided for some of you. And this could also be your partner is undecided or has like, you know, some anxiety, anxiety there. Maybe I just heard from for marriage. For marriage, maybe some people are very anxious about that. Maybe you're getting married or you're undecided if you want to. Or maybe your partner does. I don't know. That's just for a short few of you. But then with the caring connections there, it's like you want to make more caring connections, more loving connections with people, even outside of your partner and outside of yourself. But you need to be vulnerable first. Anything else that the cancer signs need to be vulnerable about? Well... Whoa, 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 and whoa. Everything else was just, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's about to look beautiful for you guys, okay? Cancers, let me tell you what these cards are saying that just fell out for you guys. Blossoming abundance. Yes! Okay, so abundance could be anything. This could be money. This could be love. This is just whatever makes you happy. I love seeing that card. I knew that. The door to romance. Yes, open that door to romance. Don't be afraid of what's in there. The third chakra is Archangel Chamel. Chamel? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Sorry. But the third chakra, you know what that is? That is your throat chakra, okay? Like I was saying, you need to say whatever it is. Be vulnerable. Speak about it, okay? With your partner. Then I see the door to value. There's a lot of new things coming in. That's money. That's love. Abundance. Like, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. These are beautiful cards. All this beauty. Blossoming abundance. You have the door to romance and the door to value. It's all there for you. It is all there for you. Okay? And lastly, I have under that. Well, not under that, but with that cards that fell out. The Angel of Balance. So, yes. And that's so funny. Like I was telling you guys earlier, you need to um have balanced emotions in your relationship so i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna leave that with that because i did mention that at the beginning of the reading and i also at the beginning of the reading i said live your best love life 
And it seems like you're going to do that. But you have to open up. You have to speak. Use your third chakra, okay? And really be vulnerable. And let me give you a little more information on that. This is my chakra Bible, guys. Okay? For the third chakra. I'm going to read up a little bit on it. Just to give you guys a little bit more information, okay? Okay. The third chakra here is what just popped up. This is about self-expression, communication, and will, okay? Make sure you communicate and express yourself. Express yourself. Express yourself to your lover, other people around you. That's why that vulnerability card is there. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. The inner aspect is expression. Again, express yourself. The physical action, communicate. Communication. The mental action is fluent thought. So again, with that reflection here, Taking time, thinking about it first, before you even do communicate or express yourself, think about what it is that you want to say and be vulnerable about in your relationship with your partner or with others around you. The emotional action is independence and the spiritual action is security. So you will be doing this alone. You're not alone, but know that you are fine. You are secure. Maybe also with the Jordan of Spirit, just know that you're secure with God in some ways. Um, or you can secure a better relationship with God through your spirituality and really opening up that door to the spirit or going to God, going to God more as well. And the last card that was under all of that is the sun. So things are going to get better. There's brighter days ahead for you in your love life. Okay. And under that is patience. Be patient. And the angel of strength. Be patient, have strength, and under that was take action, okay? And under that, we have the magician in the mirror making things happen, making magic happen, okay? Like, things are going to work out in your favor, but you gotta be strong, you gotta have patience, and you, and you definitely gotta get balanced within yourself. But you need to be vulnerable with how you feel um, towards yourself and towards your partner, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull a couple beautiful positive messages from this beautiful deck, one of my favorite decks as well. Okay, let's see if I can get just some beautiful messages for you guys. I feel like that was a great reading, honestly. There was a lot of beautiful messages that came through, a lot of insight um, for a lot of you, and it's definitely a lot of different like stories. So some of the things can really apply to you in your relationship. Some things won't. Some things will apply to other people or even people around you. So also keep that in mind. And for some of you, please do check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as well. Or please do check out the other cancer readings that I do have because that could resonate a little bit better with you. Um, you know, no matter when I've posted those videos, you can still go back and watch them. And also watch the water sign readings. Um, at the end of the month, I will have a water sign um elemental reading up as well and that's going to be general so i don't know what messages come through and for who they're for but they're for someone or somebody who knows who knows all right let's get started all right god thank you so much for these beautiful messages can you please help me to get um one to two messages for the sign of cancer one to two messages i honor how i want to feel Again, with that staying true to how you feel, expressing yourself, honor how you feel, honor how you want to feel, create that for yourself, create that love, that cornucopia for yourself, and honor that. Any other messages? Hmm, I love this card too. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yes, and this being a love reading, that's a beautiful message to get. Choose love. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to fear. Any other cards? I am the dreamer of my dream. Yes, again, dream time. Create. You are the dreamer of your dream. You are the one who is in control of how this can go. You can create this beautiful, loving relationship that you truly do want. If you honor your feelings and your emotions, you can get that. But you gotta be vulnerable. You gotta reflect and you gotta do the work. You gotta do the intro, the introspection 
the introversion. You have to do that first and really go in, reflect, do the work. Dig deep if you have to. Even go to God. Open that door to spirit if you need to. To really help you decide how to move forward. But you will you will move forward and it will be fine. Alright? So, for you guys, this was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this love reading. Um, and as I said, there will be other videos for you guys to check out. So, please do check those out. And also check out the links below if you're interested Um, following me on any of my social media. Uh, so, um, also I do have um, my clothing brands down there as well. So please check that out if you're interested in getting a lovely shirt. Alright, thank you guys.